Okay, for those of you who might be interested, I thought I'd show you how to sex Zerodacus, if I can, through the microscope. This part here is the operculum. Here we have the pectines on each side. We're going to go in close and see if we can work out what sex this animal is. This is an adult, Eurodacus yashinkoi. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in on the operculum. I'll have to refocus as I do. Okay, here's the operculum. Let's go in a bit closer still. Closer still. Okay, now if we look carefully here, we'll see that in fact the operculum is split through the middle. If you look very carefully at the bottom here, right here, you see a little projection, little finger like projection, that's a genital papillae, which means it's a male and the fact that the operculum is split. So if we lift up the operculum, you can actually see that it's split and there's the papillae underneath. There should actually be two papillae. Okay, so there they are. There's the other one. You can just see the other one there. There's one papillae and Difficulty with the second one, the one on the left, but you probably can just there it is. You can just there it is. You can just see the two of them now. There's the other one. Okay, so you got split operculum. It's actually split, probably to enable the spermatophore to come out. Okay, and you've got two genital papillae. That's a male, male Eurodacus. All Eurodacus have. Uh, a split operculum with papillae that are not always evident from the outside sometimes you've got to probe the specimen and obviously when they're alive that's not an easy thing to do but um, often they'll just stick out like that you can just see them projecting okay well that should give you some idea of how to tell a, a Eurodacus uh, male if you have access to something like a magnifying glass or a microscope, you should be able to tell. Uh, usually adults and pre-adult instars will show the uh, genital papillae.